There's this new historical biopic that's available now in cinemas and yun ang pag-usapan natin for this video. Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Avram and welcome back to the channel here at A Vlogs. And for this video, we're going to be talking about Napoleon, the stars Joaquin Phoenix alongside Vanessa Kirby and is directed by Ridley Scott who's known for epic uh, historical dramas and sci-fi films. He's known for films such as The Gladiator, Prometheus, Alien the Covenant, his last film was The Last Duel, which I think starred Adam Driver. And for this time, he's going to focus on Napoleon Bonaparte, his life and whatnot. So let's dive into the review by talking about the most obvious elephant in the room, the historical inaccuracies. Now I have like a torn personality, if you will, or thoughts about this. Because when it comes to history, I feel like there are certain things that you can't touch that you can't rewrite so for example if it's a fact if it's supported by evidence don't rewrite that okay that's obvious if for example france won this war in 18 blank they won that war don't rewrite history in a way there's that thin line if you're going to be artistic and creative about it you have to go all in for example spencer which is an account or a drama about the life of princess diana yun talagang it zeroed in on what she would have reacted or how she would have been like at this certain point in her life. So with that, it's more of an interpretation of like what was going on in her mind. And in a way, Napoleon does that. After watching the film, because I'm not a history buff, I don't know much about Napoleon Bonaparte except his name. I know that he is kind of infamous in the world of history. There were lots of historians commenting and saying na inaccurate to, hindi to nangyari, and all of these things. And when you think about those situations that did happen, there were more of like a leaning towards artistry there. For example, Ridley Scott did defend the whole destroying of the pyramids. It was more of a metaphorical statement rather than literal destroy nila yung pyramids. It was more of a symbolism that they defeated Egypt. Napoleon leaving to confront Josephine back in France during that war in Egypt. That didn't happen now and in a way this was done I felt as a creative manner of highlighting the relationship between Napoleon and Josephine which is the focal point of this film. And even the whole, this is not French. That for me was actually one of the biggest historical inaccuracies. I would have preferred it to be like they were speaking in French because it would have made sense. Napoleon Bonaparte, Napoleon Palang na name is very French. So I would have appreciated that actually more than the inaccuracies that people were pointing out. If you're going to be creative, lean to it. Lean to that creativity and have a point into the story. Like for example, the whole Napoleon being part of the Antoinette beheading, it wasn't really clear what that messaging was all about because hindi daw talaga nandun si Napoleon during the beheading of Marie Antoinette. So those kinds of things, if you're gonna have, number one, have a point to it, and number two, lean to the creativity of it. In a way, Napoleon does the second part because again, the focal point of this is not really the life per se lang, but then his relationship with Josephine. It's a roller coaster ride. It was kind of crazy seeing them back and forth and how they would like how they would react to each other. Sobrang baliw. You are nothing without me. Say it. But then it was also a way to zero in on the relationship rather than everything else that was happening. But I also felt like there was no end to it all. Like there's no big point because when that big point comes in, in terms of that relationship, it takes its time. The pacing was slow. It had, it mo it had its moments that it would go back into that nice energy, but then it would go back down. So there was that roller coaster ride. I didn't really appreciate all that much. Casting was phenomenal. I mean, getting someone like Joaquin Phoenix alongside Vanessa Kirby with the chemistry, the tandem, they really made this film successful as it is. One of the things that you really see here is their experience and their ability to really act in different roles. And Vanessa Kirby is just really zeroing in or zoning in. She is, for me, an underrated artist or, or, or actress rather. But then she's showing more of what she can do and she did that here. Joaquin Phoenix tried and tested, so no comments there. Now, one of the things that also was really great was the visual aspect, especially during the war sequences. The battles, 
for this time period is something I haven't seen in quite some time. And it's really cool with how Ridley Scott directed that, how he made it so immersive, so like you were in that experience with all of the gore, the blood, the excitement, the action. Although that was not the point, at least that involved more energy out of this film. So as a whole, it really was a nice experience. But if you think about it, all things considered, with the pacing, with the historical inaccuracies, and even the things that weren't all that put together in the story, down to the ending of it, it's just an okay film. I give this a score of 6 out of 10. I feel like it could have been improved even more. And it could have been an Oscar-worthy film, to be honest, but I don't think it reached that level with everything that we got out of Napoleon. Okay, you guys, have you seen this film? What are your thoughts about it? That's pretty much it for this video. Leave a comment down below because I'd love to know your thoughts. As always, don't forget to make every day into an adventure. Once again, my name is Abram. Continue to follow me for more videos like this one. Catch me on my next one. God bless, guys, and peace out.